What's up guys and welcome to tutorial number 6 6 and uh, we are continuing the Facebook SDK integration with our app. So uh, if you haven't watched the previous video, please do so now since we that's where we set up and we get the uh, app ID, the Facebook app ID, which is what we currently have and what uh, this video is going to be consisting of is how to integrate that into your application. All right. So just a quick refresher though, we use this code to get the Android key hash for the that Facebook requires. And then we also gave it the package name. And with that, we were able to set up uh, the, over here, we set up the the application with the the key hash and all that good information. And with that, we got the application ID. Once again, uh, that, that was all done in the previous video. So now we're at the point where we have the, the app ID, all right? So how do we integrate the app ID? Well, that's pretty simple. Um, and that's what we're gonna do in this tutorial is is that okay so remember this these requirements that facebook has is facebook app the sdk which this video we're going to install the sdk we have the facebook app so id so that we're going to go ahead and we're going to put that into our manifest and then we already got the key hash which which gave us the app id right and then the activity all right so we're going to just kind of follow this through that way you know we can kind of do this together and then if you do have any questions you, you know this is the the, the best page to come to and get some information with it. All right. So you can always, of course, email me some comments, but if you don't have anything, if you, uh, if you, if you don't, if you're a little confused and like, oh, what was that last step that he did and this and that. So I'm just going to, I've been following these steps. All right. So that way that we're on the same page with that and we're getting the, the we're coming from the same source. All right. So that being said, let's go ahead and do that. Um, what I'm going to do is, uh, I have my app ID, so you should have yours by now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a file the resources file so the strings so if you don't have this create a strings.xml and then we're going to put our facebook app id inside of here okay all right so let's go ahead and make a new resource it'll be a string of course and then we're just going to do this because that way we could reference it in, in many places if that ever ever comes to the uh, moment that we need to do that so we're going to have a string and then the value is going to be, of course, our app ID. Go ahead and paste that there. And that's all we need to do there. Now what we need to do, guys, is we need to reference the, the app ID in our metadata, which is specified in the manifest, okay? So that uh, that's gonna be done over here. Let's go into the manifest. You'd open up the properties and open up the XML file that is the Android manifest. All right. so. You know, usually with Xamarin, they, they kind of, you know, do a lot for us with the manifest and we don't need to really work with the manifest very much, which is which is nice. But there are some times when we're going to need to to really get into the nitty gritty and do things that um, that would that are specified by the SDK. OK, so the first thing is to to specify the metadata. All right. And then the metadata is going to be inside of the application tag. So remember to do that now here. And what we can just simply do is meta dash data and then Android name com Facebook dot SDK dot application ID. Remember to uh, type that word for word. And then the value of this is going to be, you guessed it, the Facebook app ID. Okay, so that's what that does, guys, is it just basically ties our application with the app ID. So now the app ID is going to know when we when we requ request it, we're going to send this app ID and it's going to uh, do some matches and make sure that our app is legit and then we are registered with it and it should be good to go. So while we're here, what we can do is we can actually we're going to need to specify some permissions as well. So the permissions can be, as you probably know, like here in the properties, if you come over here, you can kind of check some stuff off and that'll actually that'll actually manipulate the manifest for us. However, if we want to do it kind of just by hand, we can do that back over here. So let's go ahead and do that. What we're going to need to do is we're going to actually going to have to add a few permissions, which this is really just a given for any permission. We're just going to need to specify that we need internet access. And that's pretty much uh, most apps nowadays but we're gonna declare it just because, and then they're gonna go ahead and copy. 
let's paste it one more time. And then we do need this for the for the Facebook. We need, need to do write external storage. So these are gonna be the permissions that we need for the for the Facebook SDK. And let's go ahead and note that here, just so we, we remember to access Facebook APIs. And then we, we will need to come in here one more time when we specify the activity because the, the Facebook activity does is it uses its own activity when it wants to verify with you, which we're gonna see here in a few seconds. So uh, let's just go ahead and, and keep this open if you want, but do be sure to save it if you do close it. All right, so now that we have that, we, we have all this code. We don't really need any of this code anymore because remember this was, a, this was giving us the key hash, which we no longer need. We've used it and we can get rid of it, clean up some of that code right here. All right, so we have the app ID. We've integrated it into our manifest. Now the next thing we need to do, if you remember, we need to uh, integrate the, I'm sorry, the SDK. So the SDK can be downloaded through the component store, which we'll do, do now, which you should be familiar with by now, right? Because we've done it a million times. Uh, so if you type in Facebook should be enough to do and there you'll see that there's actually a lot of uh, different SDKs for it so we have the one by Xamarin of course we have another one by Outcurve and we have you know Xamarin social there's even like a Xamarin OAuth authorization that uses uh, yeah OAuth so there's there's a few different ways that you can see to do it and you know the more variety the better because you know if you don't like one tool then you can kind of skip to the other but the one that I will be using of course is the Xamarin SDK and here's some documentation, but it's really just gonna link you straight to where we are already at with the developer.facebook.com. So all we need to do now here is just add it to our app. All right, so you should see it installing if, if it is doing anything. And then once it's done, it should say something like this, Facebook Android SDK. So the SDK is now installed and ready to go. Good news, good news. All right, so if we follow along here and we look, you guys remember I mentioned in the last video that there's two ways to log in here. There's a login button, which really provides a lot for you and, and the, including the UI, uh, meaning that you know a lot of the code, the, the AXML is all done up for us. Or there's a login manager class, which we would, which is when this is to initiate without using a UI button. So what we would do is like create our own button and then wire it up with this login manager class or we could just use the login button. Uh, it really is, it's up to you. What I would say is this one provides, you know, uh, pretty much out of the box tools that you can just straight ahead and, and use and it's just quick, easy to, to, to implement. Uh, however, you don't get as much control. If you need more control over what's going on, you wanna design your own button, stuff like that, the login manager class is the way to go, all right? So the first thing we're, we're gonna, that we're gonna go over is the login button, all right? So the login button is the one that takes care of a lot of it for you. So that being said, what we can do is if you actually come down here, here's the login button and this is something about how it looks. And here's the activity. Remember the activity that I said that we need to specify is gonna look something like this, okay? This is basically asking the user, hey, do you wanna get this, to give this app permission to access your Facebook data? And of course, uh, hope that they hit okay. If they do, success will should happen and then you can do whatever you want with their information. So. Here is the is the button. So this is the button that's actually that's basically taking care of it for us. And this is coming straight from the SDK. So what we can do is we can come in here and we can actually just copy it and come into our main AXML file. And then we have this normal standard button, which we can now just get rid of. All right, so something like that will will work just fine. And coming over here, we need to get rid of this button since it's going to throw an error since it's no longer there. All right. And of course, after it's installing the Android SDK or any really SDK for that matter, uh, you usually always wanna do a rebuild since a lot of stuff has been imported so if it takes a while to rebuild the first time after installing the S and SDK, then 
uh, that's normal so so no worries there okay but it's always a good idea to do that so it looks like everything has rebuilt successfully for me alrighty so now that we have the the XML going we need to initialize the SDK so we can do that by using the the Facebook the static method Facebook SDK import that and then we'll do SDK initialize okay and with that we just need to give it a context which we can do this application context so that'll suffice that'll give it the context context of the application and make sure to call this before the content if you don't you'll get a, you'll get an exception so what this is doing is initializing it and then it's coming in and it's setting the content which remember for main is Facebook stuff so if we don't initialize this before it's not going to know what the heck we're talking about since you know if we do it after the the SDK is not initialized and it's going to come into here and be like what are you talking about and uh, it's going to throw us an exception and, and that's no good so <laughs> uh, just make sure to do it before the set content view so that being said what we can do now is we can set up the login button and we can get a reference to it and all that good stuff but let's go ahead and make sure that it's rendering properly bring up the emulator so what we should expect to see is a rendered button and like I said a lot of this is uh, done for us so that's nice all right so there you have it guys and there is the the button but notice that if we click on it we're probably gonna get a little bit of an exception here since we don't really have uh, anything wired to it we don't have a callback manager we need to we need to actually do a little bit of code. It doesn't do everything for us, but you get the gist. I mean, just getting this on screen is a uh, kind of a hassle. So we have this going now, so that's a big feat. So we have uh, the SDK going, all right? So let's recap, you know, we, we've got the SDK going, we've integrated the app ID into our manifest. Now uh, we've, and then we've also put the button, the login button, we're not, we're using that method first, the login button this way. We've integrated that and we're getting something on screen, all right? So I feel like we're at a good point. And then now what we need to do is we need to come and we need to add the code that is going to handle the login button. And then the activity, we need to give it permission to, to open up the activity and then finally log us in. And that way we can start playing with the data. All right, guys, so uh, I'm gonna we're gonna stop here. The next video is gonna concentrate on, on all that. And then, the uh, like I said, the next video, we should be able to get to the point to where we are able to log in and get the user's information and start playing around with it. Of course, uh, we'll, we'll probably go over the, the other way, the login manager, because a lot of times we'll want to actually implement our own buttons and then just tie them in with the, with the non-UI element. All right, so that's all uh, in the next few videos. Thanks for watching, guys.